Welcome back to Market Side Work Media. So I found an interesting clip with Club Shay Shay, Shannon Sharp, and Carlos Miller. So when they started touching on the beef and talking about if he's seen the beef with Kendrick and Drake coming, he said this. I don't think they ever liked Drake. They, they never demand. liked Drake. But the man, but the man done put so many people on. How many people don't? I mean, think about it. He too easy to hate on. <clears throat> Everything going right. Nigga tall, light skin, got curly hair. All the women love him. Mm. All his music good. Got a whole bunch of money. He ain't even from America. He too easy to hate. Hey, he kept a trail, bro. He said, I don't think they ever liked Drake. Honestly, bro, I kind of feel that way, man. I, he, he was always kind of feeling like an outsider to me. I mean, we know he came in through Young Money and Lil Wayne, and Lil Wayne is loved. So he's kind of like, all right, we'll give him, we'll invite him, we'll give him a chair at the cookout. And we'll see what he does. And he started going up and collaborating with Rick Ross that was integrated into the culture. Then a lot of other collaborations with a lot of people in the culture. So it's like, uh, I mean, the music is decent. He got the cosigns from everybody. I don't think, I don't think the community of hip hop was as conscious of inviting people to the cookout than they are in 2024 now we're revoking people's cookout card we're revoking black cards because we're feeling like it's too many people eating off the culture that ain't from us that doesn't represent who we are and from where we're from let's continue mm. <laughs> then you got kendrick lamar he grew up like us he put his mama van on his album cover <laughs> he struggled for real his daddy drunk asking for the dominoes. Right. He right. had to grow up in Compton. Nigga, it's rough out. Drake ain't right. had no struggle in his life. No. He was doing good in Canada. He dancing with his white friend, <laughs> Jewish <laughs> uncle. They haven't bought mitzvahs. Good investments. You feel me? Yeah. His mama family got that check. Kendrick going through it, bro. Yeah. He had a rough life. <laughs> That's too. You don't. You shouldn't. Drake shouldn't have messed with him anyway. Hey, that's facts. That's 100% facts. The beef started just as music, then it ended into the dynamic between raised in hip hop through the streets of coming up hard like Compton and Kendrick and people that were spoon fed that are still eating off and benefiting off the community that we represent. So now it becomes an issue of he not like us, like in every sense of the word. We're talking life experience. He said Drake ain't had no struggle. He was, uh, he was dancing with his white friends at the bar mess for his family got the check. <laughs> that is true, bro. That is true. I mean, we didn't look much of his backstory to begin with, but through the whole beef, Kendrick highlighted a lot of it. Pusha T highlighted a lot of it. Some other people highlighted a lot of it and it hit the mainstream. And we was just like, yo, this dude ain't from around here, bro. Who, who you with? It's just like you on the block or you in the streets of LA and niggas run up on you. It's like, nigga, what, you, what set you claim? Nigga, you don't represent nothing around here, bro. From a person that grew up, had a bar mitzvah, had a good upbringing, upper middle class, and then they got rich, and then the music sounds good. He got all the best writers, the best producers. He's around the best people. He made millions, and, you know, women like him and all this other shit, and it's just like, damn, bro. Like, you really came over here, imposter syndrome type shit, and now you hard? Now you street? What I'm saying is, this is about people overstaying their welcome. Drake has overstayed his welcome. Let's, just, let's put it out there. He has overstayed his welcome that the hate has boiled over so much. There are a lot of people out there that really do not like Drake, bro. I've seen it now. A lot of people don't like Drake. And I think it's bigger than like what you said, just being at the top of rap. I think it's what he represents, being a, a, a Canadian from a middle-class family. So Canada is not really known as the hip hop capital, is it? They're known as outsiders, Canadians. Like, just forget, even take music away. Just in America, where hip hop is from, Americans don't really rate Canadians like that. No. Do you get what I'm saying? They see them as like, 
the little adopted brother or someone like they don't yeah. really rate them like that right but then you've got someone that's from canada and it isn't even from the hood in canada like tory lanes is yeah from middle class that has come over here and has dominated for this long bro yeah dominated for this long and has aligned himself with so many people within america people in new york whether it's dipset or whoever it happens to be loads of artists from atlanta artists on the west coast like yg in the game He's just associated himself with so many people and we can get to the UK part of it because I've seen that been cropping up as well. People don't like that. Hip hop is from America. Hip hop was birthed in the Bronx in New York. They never ever liked the idea of a Canadian middle class brother being at the top of rap. That was never the script, bro, for hip hop, right? <laughs> and, huh? No, it wasn't. It never was. No. And the reason he got away with it for so long was because the product, no matter how you felt about Drake, was good. He should have listened to Lil Wayne. Don't talk about what Wayne talk about. He from that environment. Just stay with the pop stuff. But no, he decided to jump over into the lane and that's what added a lot of polarizing dynamic to the beef. Let's continue. You don't, you don't, you don't start no sh with nobody from Compton. Compton? Hell no. Mm. They've been they've been running the rap game since '91. Right. Why would you do that? Out of all the people to beef with, mm -mm. I'm telling you, Drake. He's still Drake though. Yeah. He could drop one. Oh, he pretty he pretty drop. He drop a whole R&B album and don't even worry about no rap no more. He right. good. But that was that was very interesting. And big salute to Kendrick Lamar. He took it to another level on that one. Been running the rap game since '91, boy. <laughs> Why you do that? I think that was a big mistake. That was ego talking. He clearly didn't think that through. He clearly didn't do his research. He clearly didn't look at the full scope of how this can go, not just the music, because I think Drake thought that this was just music. No, not at all, bro. This is now our culture and wherever you from and you not being a part of it. And matter of fact, you've overstayed your welcome. So let me take let me let me take that cookout card. You you can go. So let me know what you think. Do you agree with Carlos Miller? Do you agree with everything you said as far as like Kendrick growing up in the struggle and represents it and wear it on the sleeve? Drake is pretending to be a part of the culture and he's trying to have the mannerisms of somebody that's from the streets and we don't receive that well put your thoughts below let's talk about it this is marcus at work media and i'm out this bitch.